Hello, sir. Welcome. Good day to you. My name is Roland, and I'm going to talk you through installing Forth, Aconsoft Forth, for the BBC Micro. That would be the 8-bit Micro from 1981, the BBC Model B with 32K RAM. So, a uh, BBC Model B computer looks like so. Nice keyboard. Lots of uh, electronics, big power supply. The back of the computer. I didn't own one of these. This one has some ROMs, read-only memory chips installed. There's a disk filing system. There's a Pascal interpreter. This is an add-on. And that's the fourth we're going to use. Same one as the Electron, more or less. We'll come to this book later. I'll mention a few books, and this is one of the reasons why I think you should start with fourth for the BBC Micro. Here is what I'm using. It's an emulator, BeebM. BeebM. The hardware, if you go to hardware and edit the ROM configuration, it comes with OS on the first one, the basic interpreter and a disk filing system as ROMs, standard ROMs def by default. Now in this one I put select ROM and I put the Aconsoft fourth ROM. I've renamed this one but it's a 16k ROM and that means I won't have to load it from disk, it'll be virtually instantaneous. And now it's here. By the way, you could also put it instead of the basic ROM and then boot straight into fourth, which is kind of cool. Just a fourth computer, basically, that you switch on and you have fourth instantaneously ready, a bit like the Jupiter race, I guess. Okay, that and reset it. Now, I know fourth is in there and shift eight, fourth, straight into the fourth system. A cold boot, just to show you the dictionary from the last word to the first word here. By the way, when you type the list, vocabulary list, you can pause it with a tab key and continue with a space key. Pause with tab, continue, pause, etc. Um, now, the new words you define, I'll talk a little bit about the language in another post. What I want to talk to you about here is how to set up a disk so that we can save and edit our screens, which screens are where we store our source files, basically our source uh, definitions. When we um, create a new word, we want to um, save save that. So where do we do that? Uh, in disk options, we create a new disk, and I suggest a double-sided disk because that will hold 180 screens, and um, I'm going to call it rather long name, but it's a double-sided disk. D S D. That's that's important. That's what works for me, so we're going to do that. And um, in fourth, you will in uh, Aconsoft fourth, you will uh, come across two variables called max files and screens per file. And these will this will create 180 screens, 20 times 9 on your uh, disk, basically, which is basically the file that we just saved. 
the YouTube Tutorial 01 file. That becomes our disk. But I'm actually going to change max files because this takes a little while to um, max files put store 10 parameter field max file store enter max files becomes 10 and I think I will be making 90 screens now uh, uh, from 0 to 89 they will be called so I create screens this is before you can load create screens you must format the disk to have the screens on them so that it can so it can work it has a special format yes we are sure Sorry, it takes a little while, but I don't really know how to skip it, which is why I made max files a bit smaller. Um, right, we've done our, we've got our screens created. Uh, just to have a quick look at the disk, if we go into OS and do a cat, a catalog, we can see there are some screens on it. It's gibberish but um, something's on the disk anyway from 0 to 9 now um, I tell you where you can um, get some of that information on a book called this is basically the manual fourth on the BBC microcomputer if you scroll to page 94, you will see the create screens that they mentioned. This must be done before you list and load and so forth and save and flush, etc. Any screens to disk. The default will create 180 screens, but I did change max files to 10. I suppose this would fit on a single uh, single sided disk SSD so I've created 90 screens and it will mention max files here and these constants 20 and 9 and so forth so this must be done this is the equivalent of formatting your uh, disk this must be done first of all uh, we're basically set up now we can uh, we can list a screen. I'm afraid it's all blank. They are all blank, the screens. Ah, one other thing that's very important is to, in disk options, is to take the right protects as you load a disk. But what I'm going to do now is eject this disk. I'm going to put one in. Uh, I'm going to load disk zero with random because I put a little screen in here just to show you if I um, list 10 uh, let's just go in cold 10 list it's reading it off the disk this is my little demo that I prepared um, so we have a screen here it's called a screen it's an area of source code for um, the editing is rather primitive so if I load this in, into fourth it generates some random numbers and these are random numbers between 1 and 200 and you get 90 of them from 100 to 10 it counts down and gives you these random numbers. If I wanted to change line 14, uh, actually, editor, vocabulary first, 14, I put, let's just do random numbers 
from 1 to 20 and let's just do 10 of them so you can see the difference. We put that there. We will flush it. That means write it. Well, actually, let me see it first, just to check. Line 14, there it is. It's changed. So this is, um, we f now flush it so that it writes this new version out to my disk. And if I were to load this, I would get 20 uh, numbers from 1 to 20, just 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 random numbers, which proves that I edited the screen, the source code. So the steps to remember are to install the ROM here, possibly here, in this slot, if you want to boot straight into ROM. Then reset, and also to create a new disk with a double-sided disk. Could be single-sided, I suppose. I haven't tried that. So you can store 180 screens. And then you can load them up, load your disks in here. And the disks, each file is basically a, a, fl a floppy disk. Oh. And take the right protects off as well. That's very important. Now, I suggest uh, fourth on the BBC because of a range of books that you can get. So um, this is a nice book, Exploring Fourth. And Exploring Fourth has got a very good chapter on Create Does Greater that I really liked. It's the first time I really started to understand that because that's that was um that was a sort of barrier when I came to create does my head exploded and I couldn't understand how you could define a defining word but anyway that's that, that this book does a good job of that and it's just all round fun and um nice to read uh so this is the main book on the Aconsoft fourth the manual which is mostly we had a look at before. This is another good book I'm enjoying that uh, tells you a little bit, goes into detail, the nuts and bolts of, of the fourth for the BBC computer. I like it very much. Um, very detailed, it tells you exactly, uh, I'll, do, I'll do another video about this, but, but how a fourth word is um, compiled into the dictionary and the memory spaces it takes up, etc., and the different uh, fields, uh, name fields, etc., parameter field, code field, link field, and so forth. Um, so that it's a good nuts and bolts book with a few graphics and things at the end to have some fun. And I believe there's another book by somebody called Brown um, Welcome Forth which is also about this fourth, I believe. I haven't read it yet. Here are some stats on the BBC Model B. Um, I haven't come across that. Here we go, here's the actual software package. And here's the actual ROM that uh, you would slot in, push in into the slot, and your computer can potentially boot straight into this or you can call it up at an instant. So that's that's pretty good uh, tech, sort of welcome technology, welcome retro technology that uh, um, we can certainly learn to, we certainly appreciate when it takes our computers uh, several minutes sometimes to boot up. Uh, okay, this was, these are a few notes on actually inserting the ROM chip. Aconsoft fourth, that's the back of the software package. And here's the mic BBC micro again. Uh, lots of lots of hardware. A busy a busy motherboard there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it helps you get started with fourth on the BBC micro, which is a good choice. You can start on other micros, but um, this this one has got several books, three or four at least. 
that will help you with different aspects of the language. Okay, that's about it. Thank you very much for listening and cheerio.